This is Umar Ahmed for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the home of boxing in Belfast, Ulster Hall. Sean, you must be delighted with our mate rounds. Yeah, delighted. Um, good, tough test. Um, we knew the fight when we took it. It was going to be a tough, rugged fight. We know what Ronnie brings to the table. He's a wealth of experience and uh, he comes to win. And as we know before, he has a lot of upsets mm. So on his record. So he was coming to do the same again. And, it was our job to stop that, and I feel we've done that. I don't think anyone at this weight class tonight would have stopped Ronnie Clark. I mean, he's a tough, tough man. Oh, no, no, he's, listen, he's, he takes shots. I knew I heard him at times, and it's it was like it was hard at times to keep my composure, especially with the Belfast support. It's unbelievable in there, and the atmosphere is on top of you, encouraging you to go for more. So it was up to me to just stay composed, to listen to tactics from the corner, and stick to the boxing. Yeah, let's hear the verdict from the corner. Pete, you've got to be uh, pleased with that tonight. She was times we were going into the corner, you couldn't tell him what to do because he was boxing a perfect fight. So he made the job very easy for us. Mm. So we had very little to do, brilliant performance. Did you ever feel like at times he could have pressed the action more and try to get rid of him or not? Nah, you don't, you don't try to get rid of that lad because that's when he's dangerous, you know. So um, just like I say, he boxed a perfect fight against Ronnie. Sean, you did land some big shots at him. Did you ever feel like he was buzzed in there? Yeah, it was once or twice, but you know what? He has a head like grenade. Like grenade, he, he just he, he shakes off quickly and his form of defense is attack when he's hurt and like Pete said that's when he's that's when he's dangerous mm. so it's it's for anyone to go in swinging feeling they've hurt him or just leaving themselves exposed that's two good wins now obviously after the disappointment yeah. against Gavin Gwynn where do we go from here Sean? I was saying that I want to take the fit um, any take the fit any name I don't care um, I just feel it's time now to move on because Sean I've, I've had the hiccup I've learned from it, I've changed stable, we've bonded well, um, my Pete, myself, Pete, with all the boys down in Dublin, we've all got on very well, the, the sparring's great, I'm, I've got better again from I've moved back down and um, I'm bringing all the best aspects out of myself and I believe now is the time, just push on and start picking up takers. Do you believe for that setback you're actually a better fighter for it now? 100%, 1 million percent. I've, I've learned, the, the state of mind I was in was the talent will, will, will win me that fight. I was like 60, 70% mentally on it, wasn't even fully on it. The fight was put off three times. Um, and I thought, I'm good enough to still win this fight based on talent, but well, that's not true. Like no one's good enough. Like when you're not mentally on it, you're not on it. So from now on, it's business. It's fully on the game plan, on, on, the, on the job for eight weeks. No hiccups, no shit sparring, everything's tailored. Pete Periodes is the full training sessions for us throughout the whole camp and uh, you can see him performing tonight exactly why. Okay, well that sounds good to me. The public news is well done on a, on a good win tonight, yeah. solid winning against Ronnie Clark. Well done Pete Thanks. and uh, I'm sure we'll speak in IFL soon, alright? Bang, bang, every <laughs>